Hello, this is Mega J Quasar here with a new video, and this is a new series covering 172nd scale military aircraft diecast. And the first aircraft today is my first Hobby Master aircraft. Uh, this came last year, and I've only just come around to making a video of it, so sorry. And this is a US Air Force Lockheed Martin F 35A Lightning II. Now, the F-35, it's a very controversial aircraft at the moment. It first flew in the early 90s and was up against the X-32 as part of the JSF or Joint Strike Fighter program. The F-35 was selected and there are three different variants, the A, the B and the C. The A, which is the version we've got here, is a conventional takeoff and landing aircraft, so it's like your everyday aircraft like an F-16, designed to replace the F-16 this aircraft is actually. The B version is a stovall aircraft or short takeoff and vertical landing. That is the aircraft that the uh, Britain has ordered and the RAF is currently operating the B version. And the C version is a naval aircraft that has an arrestor hook and is has a larger wingspan to help with the slower speed needed on landing on aircraft carriers. So this is a Hobby Master 172nd scale diecast model. Uh, it's a very nice detailed aircraft. See that? And it shows off the F-35 very well. So if I just have a proper look at this. So it comes with a stand you can, and the good thing with Hobby Master is that you can show it with wheels up or wheels down so it really gives you a good idea of the aircraft in flight as well as on the ground I decided to keep mine in flight I do like to do that with most of my um, diecast models this I do have three now in um, from Hobby Master anyway the, the next two will be up soon and this F-35A um, it's based at Hill Air Force Base in Utah. You can see that on the tail just here. Yeah, you see that on the tail. HL for Hill Air Force Base. And this F-35, along with a number of others, went visited RAF Lakenheath in Suffolk in 2017. And this was the first time that the F-35 from Hill Air Force Base, and it's the first time that a F-35 at all visited Lakenheath because Lake and Heath will be getting F-35s in the early 2020s and they will be either joining or replacing the F-15C and e Eagle and Strike Eagles that are currently based there. I'm not sure if they're replacing them or not. So it's very interesting to see this aircraft. I've seen this aircraft fly twice. Um, both of them were Luke Air Force Base aircraft, and those were at Riyadh. So one was 2016, which was its the debut of the type in the UK, and 2018, where it flew a heritage flight, where it did decide to show off some of its um, capabilities, or well, the pilot did at least. <laughs> you can never tell with these new aircraft. Right? But yeah, it, does, it can perform some pretty impressive manoeuvres, so I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing the full demo from the F-35A soon. It's not coming to the UK this year, um, as of 2019, it's going to be um, the F-16's turn from the US Air Force, which is going to be very nice to see, but hopefully the F-35 will be performing at the Air Tattoo soon. And anyway, let's get a proper look at this model. So you can take it off the stand as well, and it also comes with weapons. So I decided to keep this aircraft as closed up to show off the full uh, flight. So what it looks like the full sleekness of this aircraft it doesn't it's not exactly the most sleek of aircraft anyway so it doesn't really need any weapons on it to make it any beefier looking but you can open up the weapons bays so those are here and here and you can fit um, missiles and GBUs in there as well I don't know what GPUs but I shall have a look in a minute and you can also fit weapons on three pylons on the outside uh, and you can also have, of course have the landing gear up and down so you can take it just like that and you can slot the landing gear straight into there so it's very easy you can also tap the canopy off as well so, so and you can fit a pilot in 
So you see there, you can see all the cockpit detail and the inside, it does have a lot of detail. So, and then it just slots back in like that. You can see, if we take a look at the aircraft, you can see the whole detail of the aircraft. And you see this single F-135 engine at the back, which was designed specifically for the F-35. You can see here as well, on the A version, it does have a cannon here as well on the side. And it's, everything is tucked up into the aircraft, so all the APU is all tucked up in. And then when it wants to, say for example, fire its cannon, a, a section here will open up and it will fire. This is to keep the aircraft as stealthy as possible. You can see here you have your um, refueling area. So we can, this aircraft is of course capable of air-to-air -air refueling. So these panels here will open up. And this is the guiding area for the boom for the KC-10 or KC-135 that refuels this aircraft. So yes, I did a project on the F-35 as part of my college course. and it, well, basically, we had to do um, a civilian, well, it wasn't necessarily a civilian, but a lot of people did do a civilian one, where um, you had to pretty much discuss something modern in aviation. So a lot of people chose, for example, terrorism or so on and so forth, but I chose the F-35, as it is a very <laughs> complex uh, project and one that is still getting a lot of criticism even today. I've seen on Facebook, Twitter, people trying to say that it's a bad aircraft, but we have to wait and see. It's a, the aircraft hasn't fully matured yet, so if only the UK, um, USA, and one of the countries, I think it's Israel, have actually de declared IOC, or Initial Operating Capability, on the type, and that's all three variants. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope to have some more coming out soon of this. Um, I do have a couple of corgi ones, including a buck in the air and so on and so forth, and a couple of hunters, as well as two other hobby masters, which I'll hopefully put up videos for shortly. So this is the first video of 170 second scale die cast. I did try and do 170 second scale plastic, but it didn't really take off. So that would be that would be the um, ones that you build yourself like Airfix, Rebel, so on and so forth. But as I've seen the success of the scene of the um, 1 to 400 and 1 to 200 scale airliners, I thought I'd start doing this and hopefully you might like it. So thank you very much and have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.